Hello, welcome. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to consistently get deals. Now I'm talking about month in and month out to be able to get good deals. Here's the secret, are you ready? This is really profound, are you ready? Here it is. Make more offers, okay? Now that might sound self-explanatory, but let me explain more. Look, the key to getting deals is you have to make a lot of offers. I can't tell you how many people I talk to and they have this expectation that they're gonna go out, they're gonna make one or two offers, and they're gonna get this great deal. It doesn't work that way, not in real estate. It's a numbers game. You have to make more deals. Here's what I find. Many months, I'll make 100 to 200 offers to get one or two really good deals, okay? That's a pretty small percentage, but it's just a numbers game. And I'm gonna to talk to you about how to do that because you might be thinking to yourself, holy cow, Jerry, how am I gonna make that many offers? That's a lot of offers. Well, here's how we do it. When I look at properties that come out for sale, uh, active listings on the market, I break it down into one of two categories. To me, it's either an overpriced property or underpriced. And let me explain the difference. So overpriced properties, these are properties that come out for sale and they're overpriced, they're not a deal. And a lot of people, they just skip right over those. They think, you know what, I'm not even gonna waste my time, it's overpriced, it's not worth it. And so they skip right over those. Here's what I do. I still make an offer on those overpriced listings. But here's how. I make what I call a sight unseen lowball offer. Sight unseen, meaning I don't physically go to the property. Okay, I don't even go to the property. I run my numbers, I guess on repairs, I do my formula, and I throw out a lowball offer, okay? Without even going, now here's why more than likely the seller is going to counter. They're not gonna just accept my lowball offer. I mean, that would, if they do, then you know, hopefully I have an inspection clause and I can make sure those numbers work. But in most cases, I would say 99% of the time, they're gonna counter back. Now, if the counter is attractive enough, then I'll take the time and look at the deal and analyze it and, and you know, firm up my numbers and see where I go from there, you know, if I counter back or whatever. But this way, it allows me to get out a lot of offers. Sometimes I'll make 10 offers in an hour or so. Just looking through, I see the properties, I make a lowball offer. Really what I'm doing is I'm trying to find a motivated seller. Okay, the way you do that is you make a lowball offer. I've had times where nobody else is offering on the property, it's overpriced. I make an offer, the seller rejects it. 30 days later, I make another offer on that property, seller rejects it. Third month, I make another offer, same property, seller, we counter, I end up getting the deal. Why? Nobody else was in on the deal. Nobody else was making offers and the seller figured I'm the only player in town. I'm the only interested party. So th those types of things happen with overpriced properties. So don't be lazy, don't be like most people, still make offers on those overpriced properties. The second type is underpriced properties. Now, we've all seen these. These are these hot deals, they come out way below a lot of times there's a lot of offers that are made and sometimes you'll see where it goes over list price, right? I've even gone out to a property and there's 15 cars in the driveway, everybody looking at the property, right? Why? Because it was underpriced. <laughs> there's one strategy to get these deals. You have to be fast to the deal. So what I do is I set up my searches, I look at those. As soon as a property comes out, if it's underpriced, I wanna be on it. These are deals that I physically go look at. If it's a deal in another market, I've got somebody there, a team player, that's gonna get out there right away, firm up my repair numbers so that I can run my formula and make my offer. The goal, though, is to get it in immediately, okay? When I say immediately, the property comes out for sale, within the hour, you've got an offer in. That's the best way to beat out competition. Most investors don't do that. They, they're too slow. It's two or three days before they get to it, and that's how you can get some really good underpriced properties. The fact of the matter is, whether they're overpriced or underpriced, you have to make lots of offers. If you're making lots of offers, you're going to consistently get good deals. All right, that's today's tip, thanks.